uh, sodium ion, like when we talk about the sodium ion, we replace lithium by sodium. Sodium mm -hmm. is a large molecule than lithium. Uh, though it is a large, but there are very good advantage uh, behind the sodium ion battery. One of the thing with the sodium ion battery is you can store at zero degree C at lower temperature, minus 10, minus 20, the battery can functionalize very well than lithium ion battery. Having said that, industry, many players are claiming with the long cycle life, like more than 4,000 to 5,000 cycles. And uh, uh, you can do safety is not a problem. That's a major concern in terms of the automotive industry, in terms of thermal runaway at high temperature. Sodium ion is very much susceptible with that. And then the supply chain, because of sodium, uh, comparatively lithium, where we have a dependency on our neighboring country for lithium and other uh, cobalt and other material. So that is a big relief scientists are thinking over the globe. And there are many companies uh, starting from Faradion, Hina battery, then Tiamat in Europe, and then Altris in Europe, and then CATL in China, who are claiming BYD is also there to have a good robust product. Uh, also in India, in uh, Pune, there is a company named KPIT who is also exploring a lot, doing a lot of research in the sodium and uh, domain. And one more NCL based uh, research, uh, I think Dr. Manjusha Sherke and her group, they are also doing, they have a separate company also, then IIT Rurki in India, uh, Professor Sharba who is working on sodium ion battery. And various parts in the globe, people are working on sodium ion research in terms of the development. Though companies have announced CATL, BYD, HINA, if you go to website, you can find out the things, but still, it's still challenging to go on the TRL level from 789 to further. Mm -hmm. Others are working between, say, TRL 5 to 6 level, technology readiness, TRL means. Mm -hmm. uh, to go into a production. It shows the promising uh, results, but every company has their own uh, strategy in terms of the cathode material. And one of the challenging is the anode material that is called hard carbon, which is commonly used for sodium ion battery and electrolyte. Okay, understood. So, uh... yeah. Yeah, understood. But uh, with CATL, I think last year there was this um, uh, showcase of a light electric car uh, with a sodium ion battery. But at the same time, we are saying, uh, are we saying the batteries are not commercially ready at the moment? Or uh, we are still in the pilot stages, even with the bigger companies like CATL? Oh, at the moment, the CATL or HINA and BYD, they showcase with the JC Auto with Hina in February, they launched a vehicle. <clears throat> but uh, as a OEM, if somebody wants to buy the cells mm -hmm. and make the packs, it is still, uh, you can say 2024, Q1 or Q2, uh, to actual buy the cell and make the battery pack like we do in lithium ion cells, which are uh, easily available with you have to do BIS certification and you can get the cells whether it is cylindrical, prismatic or pouch cell right. and make the battery pack depends on your requirement. That process will take time. Okay, I believe though there is a lot of uh, saying in the media and you see it's uh, going to game change and everything but uh, one thing we have to understand the one of the uh, I wouldn't say drawback, but at the moment, the energy density is people are trying with 100 watt per kg to 160 watt per kg, which mm -hmm. can match to the LFP. Mm -hmm. But still uh, to get that reproducibility in terms of the, if I need a 1 million cell sodium ion, at this stage, can I get it? The answer is no. Right. Uh, I'm talking with the region specific, say with India. If I wanted to build a battery pack for two-wheeler, three-wheeler, for energy storage from the sodium ion cells, mm -hmm. uh, at the moment, there are a lot of challenges to get these cells. Mm -hmm. And second, other part is the cost. Okay. Though uh, industry is claiming 
say 2025, 2026, the price should match to the lead acid battery with sodium ion battery. Mm -hmm. With considering the parameters, the raw material uh, which is used, at this stage it is uh, close to NMC cost or more okay. uh, because it's coming up. But as the time progresses, still people are evolving with the uh, on the anode side as well as on the electro side, electrolyte side. Uh, so it will take some time to get to that cost. But at the moment, it is expensive sodium ion battery okay right when you say expensive it is at the par at par with the nmc cells yeah yeah okay. you can say that understood so or uh, might be more because they are prototyping and all that yes yes of course but you think that to actually come into production commercial usage let's say a couple of years from now when the commercial production starts it will be the sodium ion batteries will be cheaper than the lithium ion batteries when it go to a gigascale level, yes, but then we have to see because industry has put trillions of dollars by various big companies, CATL, BYD, right. uh, Panasonic, Samsung, LG, and all big uh, companies. So they surely uh, match the supply chain and mm -hmm. the cost war between the LFP, may, sodium ions, uh, industry has to face with the LFP because LFP chemistry is very much matured. People are trying to do more and more increase in the energy density, what per kg, more than 200 and so on. Mm -hmm. So you have to balance that. Uh, but I think in the next five years time, it will uh, match or below LFP price that the industry is expecting to okay. have the uh, cost effective solution because battery pack is the ma major bottleneck in all EV industry or in energy storage. And yeah. at the moment, that's the main cost driven factor. Understood. Yeah. Right. So, uh, like you said, there is continuous development happening in the battery chemistry. <coughs> cell fabrication in battery pack design and people are continuously researching on new cathode new anode electrolytes new additives they are trying so what will happen if we have a facility based on a single chemistry and a new chemistry comes tomorrow yeah uh, one good thing is that <laughs> the machinery supply mm -hmm. chain remains the same in terms of machinery is concerned Okay. The lithium ion battery, uh, uh, like mixing, then uh, uh, electrode making, drying, all these processes remains the same. The composition obviously changes what you do for anode and cathode and electrolyte, mm -hmm. uh, basically for the cell making. But that we can leverage easily and industry is leveraging that basically. But I can say if you have, say, uh, say Feridion, which is now under Reliance Group, yeah. they are doing certain uh, structure of the oxides for their development, while in the Europe, people are doing water-based system to manufacture. So there are different ways to manufacture the sodium ion battery. People are playing with the periodic table, you can say that, what we studied in the school. Mm -hmm. uh, you do with the different phosphate, uh, and different materials with the right selection to achieve the performance watt per kg, mm -hmm. which as a first goal, people are targeting to close to the LFP battery because mm -hmm. uh, sodium ion battery has also a good advantage. It can work with 3C, 4C, high power battery you can okay. use. So okay. there are two ways, power battery as well as energy battery. As cycle life is concerned, uh, it is more likely people will use these batteries for stationary storage okay. uh, for a long term longevity and as well as for the power applications. Making ground up a new lithium ion cell battery versus making a sodium ion cell battery, uh, sorry, cell factory. Will yeah. uh, the investments differ a lot in scale? How do you see that? Uh, no, uh, I doubt. Uh, might be uh, because of the supply chain cost of the sodium ion battery uh, because of the raw material cost is lower. Mm -hmm. uh, 
uh, it can be uh, cheaper and there are few companies who are working on the water based systems completely to make the electrodes that will save a lot of costs in terms of the recycling because when you make the lithium ion battery you use toxic solvents like nmp n methylidine pyrolidon like that to make the electrode paste and all that which is very toxic you need a recycler especially and to maintain that recycle cost overheads are quite high mm -hmm. but if scientists can achieve to the water based system uh, to make the electrodes it can reduce a lot of costs okay. in maintaining that uh, gigafactory basically okay Understood. In your uh, observation and experience in the industry, uh, would you think there are sufficient trained resources available with battery plant experience or at least pilot plant experience to work in a gigafactory in India, considering there are many opportunities in uh, battery plants globally? Yeah, my, at the moment, that's uh, you are absolutely right. That's the biggest challenge in India mm -hmm. to get the skill manpower it's more than the supply chain though supply chain is bigger okay. but along with the supply chain because we haven't built gigafactories in india mm -hmm. so it's a completely learning process i guess it takes three to four years initially we have to depend on the skilled people who make the actual cell in india there are few companies who are trying but i'm talking on giga scale level on 10 gigawatt 5 gigawatt that scale level to have the same performance that skill set we don't have at this stage though we can leverage from the mechanical chemical engineering uh, students but mm -hmm. actually the people who build the gigafactories in china korea japan or in us in europe mm -hmm. that can help for initial 3 4 years to learn mm, that knowledge and pass on to the uh, with the Indian uh, skill force is concerned. 